Hi guys, it's Sanelius and welcome to Ghost Recon Wildlands. New game to my collection. I'd like to basically just uh, yeah have you join me for this nice session here. We're gonna actually start from scratch. So we're actually gonna say we're gonna start a brand new game. Um Yep, we're gonna start playing on a brand new game slot. So what we're gonna do, we're probably gonna first go through the character creation process. Hopefully you'll be able to select the, the same character as I started off with before. I've only had the uh, the game in my library for the last two days or so. Yep, I think that's pretty much the character I want to basically play with. Oh, okay, it's changed already. Um, so what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to go through the steps of actually changing the head, change the appearance and all that kind of stuff. Um, hopefully you guys can join me in that and uh, we can actually hopefully make it into something nice. So at the moment we've basically got Murphy selected here. So there's various different facial outlines we can choose from. Uh, I kind of like Murphy. She's got... Yeah, it's, actually let's go for Keller. Or should I go for Sparky? Hmm. Let's stick with Keller here. Okay. So let's go back. We can then change, of course, the eye color. I'd like to basically get something that jumps out quite nicely. So the, the green is quite outspoken in here. Facial hair is, is locked out, of course, because we got a female character here. But we can basically choose the actual haircut we're going to have. I want to basically choose something that's still quite feminine. Ponytail, of course, is quite feminine. Let's uh, rotate the head a little bit so at least you can see a bit more of the haircuts as such. So there's quite a few options in there. Mohawk? Is that Mohawk? Well, yeah, okay, maybe. I think the ponytail is, is a nice option here. Um, I like the red hair. that kind of suits this girl here. Or the character, I should maybe say. Facial details. There's various different options we can choose from, like scars and so forth. But I just want to basically stick with a, a yeah, relatively clean face. So we're going to do that. Now, we can choose body details, like facial paint or put some tattoos on. There's big tattoos available, as you can see. Uh, but I'd like to just choose a sin single tattoo here. We're going to choose Sapper here on the arm for the moment. Um, we're not going to put any facial tattoos on because they're, they're quite big and basically they define the character quite strongly. Firstly, tops. We can choose what it is we're going to be wearing underneath. Well, maybe let's change not the tops but the vest first. So there's various different options available to us. Um, hmm. I think I'm going to go for the mole harness. Is there much, much, much any other options? Not many. I could do without. Now let's go for the, hmm, let's go for the mole one. Now if I'm actually choosing the mole vest, I can maybe also choose the pattern on there. Choose this slightly digital pattern here. Uh, pants. We're going to go and choose something that's yeah, something relatively basic. We can choose llama. Hmm, no, not really what I'm looking for. Tank pants. Gilly leaves. No. Gilly strands. Jeans is an option. Jeans B with or without knee pads. 11 let's yeah, let's go for these the uh, cry precision combat mm, and actually I can maybe change the, the pattern on there as well let's go for the slightly digital path pattern I think or should we go for this I think I like the blue one slightly more yep Perfect. Hiking boots. Various different options again available in here. So, yeah, it, it, lots of them are still locked as you can see, and you only get them unlocked at certain stages. I think I'm going to go for the hiking boots, with then the choice being slightly the grey. Kind of hopefully fits in a little bit. And of course, ghillie suit. I don't want any ghillie suit whatsoever. So I'm going to say none. Actually, maybe what I want, I don't want to have this. I've already got special outfits. Actually, this looks quite interesting. 
set two. There's other sets available. Actually, this is maybe a this outfit that fits me better. Let's choose accessories. So at the moment we got goggles already selected. No, I don't want that one. Appointment specs. Those look quite interesting. Backpack issued. Let's choose the drone one. Actually, we could go for the camelback as well. And then, of course, we can choose it to have slightly bluish. Is there other color options? So since we're wearing relatively black stuff, I'm wondering, is there a, a real black option on the list as well? That kind of makes it blended, I would say. Um, hand gear. I'm going to go for sniper gloves. And again, we can choose the color. So I'm going to go for... Actually, this might contrast a lot, slight bit. I kind of like the green tint on there. So let's go for that headgear. I don't want anything too flashy. But I did like this letter one here. Yeah, let's go for that letter. Basically make, makes it quite distinct. And of course we could then choose... Is there a color choice? No, not really. Right, patches. We have got, of course, many various different patches. We're going to go for this patch here, the little hat that kind of fits in with the character we're trying to basically create here. <coughs> All right, anything else? Anything I missed? Earpiece. Got equipped already in the piece, it's relatively small and that kind of makes it, yeah, quite happy with that. All right, facial wear. No, I don't want any balaclavas or anything. I want to make sure you have a neck scarf or anything of that sort, if that's possible. New, a bit too outspoken. That's the one. Shimag. I'm going to go for the gray or the white one there. Perfect. Perfect, so accessories, I don't want to do anything else. I kind of like what I've got here, I think. Anything I want to add? I don't want any gilly bits on there, hoodie. Yeah, that works, I think. That works quite nicely. So, I'm going to save this character. I'm going to play this at regular difficulty level. And let's get started. Now this is another game that's basically been released by Ubisoft, it looks like. It's again in a similar series as some of the other games that they've released previously. And of course similar game mechanics that you come across in here, so that's quite likeable. Now let's pause the recording for a second. Alright, so Ubisoft like I said, and this of course is, yeah, again this one was produced by Paris. So some of the other games get produced, for example, in Montreal, etc., etc. So different teams, different setups. Now, we're basically going to go into a territory which is controlled by uh, some... Uh, the agent they murdered. You knew interesting it? parties. I'm going to basically try to skip through this. I don't want to waste your time with all these cutscenes. We're going to basically go straight into the actual game itself. There's more cutscenes that we're going to have to go through in just a second. I'm just going to skip through all of them, so bear with me. All right, we're on the ground. Now we're about 10 minutes in. Um, all right, so we start off, of course, with the first mission. And I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep this first, yeah, or this, the zero episode here relatively short. And in the first full episode, we're actually going to go through that first mission. So, guys, that's it for now. And I guess I'll see you shortly. In the meantime, take care. Bye-bye.